Covering news stories isn't really my cup of tea, admittedly. I did do it, well, my previous video, because I just thought it was somewhat interesting. But every now and then there's something noteworthy, if only for issues of legality, and in this case, uh, equality under the law. One of my subscribers sent me an article uh, depicting a situation in Nova Scotia and Canada where by the uh, gentleman poked holes in the condom of his girlfriend, unbeknownst to her. Well, poked holes in the condom he was using uh, whilst having intercourse with his girlfriend, and she became pregnant. He's, he was, has been charged with sexual assault. He appealed that uh, char uh, charge, but he um, lost. So he is going to be sentenced to 18, 18 months of imprisonment for sexual assault. And this raises a lot of interesting questions. Now, I don't approve of his behavior, and I'm, I'm not defending the guy whatsoever. Uh, you know, this is deceitful behavior. It's not. Uh, it's unbecoming of uh, of being an upright uh, citizen or an adult, for that matter. But that's what he did. And before I go into the details of that, I want to just read off a couple of paragraphs off of an. Uh, this is from 2004, the Manchester Evening News. Quote, half of all women would lie to their husbands or partners to keep their relationship going if they became pregnant by another man, a survey said today. Figures showed one woman in two would not tell her man that the baby she was carrying was not his if she wanted him to stay. Uh, they also said four out of ten, 42 percent, would lie about contraception in order to get pregnant in spite of the wishes of their partner. The new survey of women's attitudes to truth... Uh, relationships and behaviors that the overwhelming majority, 96%, admit to lying. So, right there, 42% of the survey samples taken indicate that 42% uh, of th those Mancunian women would lie to their partners about contraception in order to trick him, in order to get pregnant, in order to keep him, for example, in spite of the wishes of their partner. In the UK, in the United States, and in Canada, to my not apparently as well, uh, it's that part, that kind of behavior on the part of women is not considered criminal. It's barely even considered, uh, it's barely even frowned upon. It's, it's for thought of perhaps of being in poor taste at best. Yet the man did the exact same thing in this case, and he's being charged with sexual assault and 18 months of imprisonment, which is very interesting. And we often speak of equality under the law well, uh, Where's the equality on their law now? The guy did exactly the same thing as thousands, if not millions of women on a daily basis across the world do. Surreptitiously, uh, surreptitiously get off the pill, secretly get off the pill in order to get pregnant. Now, the decision, interestingly enough, coming from the court was not unanimous. Indeed, there was one dissenting voice. It was a four out of one, uh, four, to, four to one decision. Uh, <clears throat> so, this guy, uh, Chief Justice Michael McDonald, said that the alleged victim must be fully aware of the exact nature of the proposed sexual activity. Uh, that's w the dissenting voice said, a lone dissenting opinion by another judge, however, warned of a potential slippery slope where women who surreptitiously, surreptitiously stop taking the pill to get pregnant could themselves face a sexual assault charge. Well, only in a world of justice, and we all know that we don't live in a world of justice, so that's not going to happen. The majority's reasons have the potential for increased and potentially unwarranted criminalization, wrote Justice David Farrar. Expanded criminal liability in this way would represent a dramatic step backwards. Well, fair enough. Um, but that judge is right. That, that dissenting voice, that judge in Nova Scotia, is absolutely correct. Uh, however you swing it, if you want equality under the law, either this man did commit com sexual assault, in which case 42% of those Mancunian women that were surveyed have committed uh, or, or, or are willing to commit sexual assault as well, as well as uh, women who have in fact committed sexual assault in this way by uh, lying, secretly getting off the pill uh, in a deceitful uh, act of betrayal. Or it's not. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's simply something frowned upon. This guy should not be charged with any criminal activity, either or. You can't, you can't I mean, in a, in, a, in a world which actually would, would strive for equality under the law and, uh, and justice, uh, either way, it would be just one outcome. You wouldn't have, well, women can get off the pill and trick their men into getting pregnant and then entrap them, but this guy, he's a man, so we're going to get him. 
we're going to charge him with sexual assault, and we're going to throw him in prison for 18 months. Uh, and of course, there are other voices involved. Uh, some spokeswoman for uh, for the Canadian Associ- Association of Sexual Assault Centers, blah, blah, blah. Give, getting consent in a deceitful way is rape, okay. But of course, none of this ever applies to men. And I don't normally like covering articles, but this is very, very telling. There are so many women out there. I mean, this is one survey of Mancunian women, for example, a, s- a small one, who are willing to deceive their partners and get pregnant against the partner's wishes unbeknownst to the partner. Now, I'm not going to go into names or details, but many, many moons ago, in the days of yore, in the days of my youthful ignorance, I was about 19, 20-ish, something uh, around that time, so thereabouts, and I'm in my mid-30s now, so uh, I did have a relationship with a female, and uh, she was a bit wonky, to say the least, and uh, had some pretty destructive behavior, and I, would, I would talked to her about that, and I guess she got upset or what have you. Anyway, I, I did, however, at the time, in my youthful ignorance, trust her to, you know, she was on the pill, and lo and behold, one day she becomes pregnant. Now, I did not want a child. Uh, I still don't. But I didn't want a child back then either. Now, fortuitously for me, and, and in this case, in this context, it was fortunate she miscarried. Now, a miscarriage can be a really bad thing, but in this context it was good. So I know a little bit about being entrapped and ensnared against your wishes. Um, of course, I remember at the time as well uh, people castigating me for uh, not using a condom in addition. Well, uh, we had been together for over two years at the time. She assured me and never had issues before. Uh, so you know, in, in my youthful ignorance, I trusted her. Uh, so of course, of course, that wouldn't be the case today, obviously. But the point being that uh, it is deceitful because if you are going to pr- pursue the scrap heap uh, of... Uh, of delusion and illusion we call relationships, well, it, it needs to be based on the at least the perception of trust, right? But that's not there. So this guy either, this Nova Scotian man, he either committed sexual assault, just as thousands if not millions of women have or, or do so on a daily basis, or he didn't. It's not he committed sexual assault, but women don't who decide to get off the pill or to not take their contraception and then ensnare men. I cannot tell you the number of stories that I hear from subscribers, from people I game with, from men across the world, across the globe, in Japan, uh, where the woman seduces him or gets him drunk or or, however you want to imagine it, every every possibility. And then a couple of weeks or months later, he gets a phone call, well, I'm pregnant and I have your kid. I mean, this is horrific behavior. I mean, it, this is, I think ultimately it should be considered criminal behavior. So this man should be punished. However, all the other women should be punished as well. You don't do this. Uh, of course, in the article, it's claimed that women, of course, bear greater consequences for her pregnancy. Well, maybe for the first nine months. <laughs> but after that, she's going to be getting all the man's, the man's money for at least 18 years. So, well, I don't know if, if they take that a- aspect of, of the equation uh, into account, but this is clearly something that uh, probably is criminal, but all those women who are doing it should be punished as well. That's the point. Uh, if we're not doing that, and the status quo is such in every Anglo-Saxon society I know of, that women do, and, and well, external, not just Anglo-Saxon societies, there's nothing criminal about a woman telling a man that she's taking Contrace- contraception of some sort, the pill or what is it, the chip, the stick, whatever. And in fact, when she's not, and he trusts her, ejaculates in her, she becomes pregnant, and he has a baby all of a sudden on his hands that he didn't even want to begin with. Uh, I mean, that that is just a horrific act of deception. And as you could see in that survey, and they should do more surveys of the lo- of the sort, and that M- Mancunian survey. Women have no compunctions about uh, or restraint about lying, deceiving. They'll, they'll do it. They don't care about the consequences. They don't care what happens to the man. 
uh, they, they're, think they're thinking only about their own wishes. This man as well, in this particular individual case, he was only thinking about his own wishes, and yet he's been charged with sexual assault and thrown in jail for a year and a half. It's, it's bizarre. Uh, it, I mean, <laughs> oftentimes I have the feeling we live in the twilight zone in this regard, and, and this only reinforced my prior statement in the prior uh, previous video that uh, sexual, um, sexual abstinence might well be the only course of action for many, many men, because you never know. Uh, condoms break. Uh, you just don't know what's going to happen. Uh, I, I know men who had one night stands and um, they're forking over thousands in their respective currency uh, to, to pay uh, in child support. I know of men who are find themselves in that uh, situation. I know of men who are in relationships who were deceived and they ended up having children uh, against their will. They have to poison the relationship, of course, but they still have to pay child support. Uh, I know, I know of countless examples. I mean, this happens all the time. Women are th this. This what this guy did is a true rarity, as rare as rape is. Actual men, male rapists, they exist, but they're very rare. This what this guy did was very rare. On the other hand, if only f forty-two percent of Mancunian women in the survey do that, that's not rare. That's 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 at best uncommon. But it's it certainly happens a lot more often, and I know, like I said, of dozens of cases off the top of my head, people I know, men I know, who were deceived and tricked, against their will, against their wishes, and it's uh, it it really it is criminal ultimately. It's it's criminal because it's an act of extortion as well, when the woman deceives the man and he ends up having to pay great vast sums of money. Uh, to the woman for a child that he didn't even want to begin with. You know? And this is why things like the male pill or male, real male contraception, not just, not just the, uh, the jimmy, not just the condom, are really critical. I mean, in the future, if we live to see it, um, these kinds of innovations, because that will give men true influence and true power. I mean, no woman will be able to trick a man ever again. And I think men will be far more responsible in that regard because... And that, and when that happens, if it happens, when it happens, if and when, men will uh, be able to take the decision, I want a child now or not, and they, there will have to be consent on his part, because he cannot be forced in that case unless the woman sabotages his own birth control, but who knows, it never, uh, <laughs> I never, uh, think that anything, so w women in this regard are po capable of everything, so who knows, but get my point. It's it's an interesting case, this case in Nova Scotia, and it's it's very sad that uh, even though I don't approve of his behavior at all, at all, that he's being punished and uh, charged with sexual assault when uh, I was sexually assaulted in that regard as well. And I know other men were who have been sexually assaulted in that regard as well, and no one was punished. In fact, like I said, I was castigated, and most of these other men were castigated as well. It's always his responsibility, even though women these days have a hundred percent, a hundred percent means of controlling whether or not they get pregnant. I mean, how would they have at least a dozen means of birth control? The chip they implant in their arm, uh, they have diaphragms, they have the conventional anti-baby pill. The list goes on and on, and all a man has is a well, getting his tubes cut or, uh, well. The, the, con the condom. Uh, neither of the tubes cut okay, but I mean, that, that is a s serious, serious uh, operation, an invasive operation. It's not nearly as easy as just popping a pill, despite what women claim. So it's, uh, you know, sexual, in that regard, there, there are men, millions of men out there being sexually assaulted, according to these judges in Nova, Nova Scotia, and the criminals who are committing the crime are not being punished whatsoever. Uh, it's it's not even it's barely even frowned upon when when women do this. I mean, uh, and the list goes on. I think a while back I did a video. I might have mentioned this. Uh, I'll just mention the story before I finish the video. This is not directly related, but uh, an ex-wife of an, they, this a couple had separated in the UK. She had uh, her. He had at the time they were trying to conceive or having trouble, so he had his sperm stored away. Uh, at a sperm bank or something to that effect and they hadn't had any contact for nigh 10 years she 
somehow had his signature forged, brought it to the doctor, and then took control of the sperm, got pregnant. Nine or ten years later, pops out of the blue, says, hey, you know, you owe, owe me hundreds of thousands of pounds of child support happened in the UK. And, and the court, the court agreed with her position that he should pay her hundreds of thousands of pounds, even though it, it, she forged the signature. And she, she admitted that she didn't regret anything. She always wanted children. This is, this is the common most women, generally speaking, women, generally, they only think of themselves. They do not think, they barely even think of the children, let alone the man. It's all about themselves, their, their desire, their wish for children. The man be damned. And I was in that boat many, many years ago myself. I mean, early early 20s, late teens, and uh, I, I thought I was fucked. I mean, I often say, thank the gods she miscarried. I mean, the gods were favoring me that day because uh, my life would be dramatically different. I don't think uh, a lot worse than it is now if that had been the case. So anyway, this is a double standard. We all know it's a double standard, and this is important enough to mention and talk about. Uh, so probably more people should find out about what this one dissenting voice because uh, he should write more. I hope this judge writes more about this particular case and how it's absurd that women uh, can, can get off scot-free for committing what, what this particular court in Nova Scotia deems sexual assault. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching and take care.